Okay folks, this week's tip, how to wax a surfboard. Really common question we get asked. It's not a stupid question, people always feel embarrassed asking it, but how do you wax a surfboard? How much wax? How often? That we're gonna to answer today. So a couple of things you need. Wax, there's like a billion different brands, but uh, surfboard wax, I think the main thing you need to make sure in Ireland is that you have cold water wax rather than warm water wax. You also need a wax comb, all be explained. So, Here's what I prepared earlier. This is a short board. So as you can see, <coughs> it's waxed here and here. It's got a gap in the middle. Basically that's because that's where the two feet go on this board. However, with a mini man, you might as well just wax from here to here, especially if you're not too sure yet about where you put your feet or if you're just learning, just wax the whole way up. Once you progress a bit, just put the wax basically where you put your feet. You'll find that you get into a bit of a routine your feet go in the same place every time. So, simple rule of waxing. You just wax in straight lines across, about two inches apart, like so. And then two inches the other direction, like so. And then take your bar of wax, place it flat on the board, and run around the circles like that. This will allow the wax to kind of bubble up on the grid system that you've already made. Do that for a bit. Obviously it takes a lot longer if you haven't already got wax on the board. And you take the comb side here, and then you go like so. And what that will do is that will bubble it all up. That will give it that, that extra bit of grip. Now, really common question we get asked. How do you know if you've enough wax? Simple answer, your foot should stick to the board. So if you do that with your hand, it shouldn't slide. If you did it up here, on a part of the board that has no wax, your hand will slide, okay? Whereas here, your hand will stick. Sometimes if you leave a surfboard, even in Ireland in the summer, if you leave it in its board bag outside on a sunny day or a warm day, the wax can melt and you start to get patches. You don't necessarily even need to go waxing it, you just need to shake it up. So before every surf, if you're very keen, just do a little bit and then as the wax gets de degraded, it comes off in your wetsuit, it comes off in your feet, it comes off in the board bag. Just top it up a little bit, little concentric circles. And always with the wax comb. Now, the other side of the wax comb, this side, is for when you want to take the wax off. Sometimes your wax gets, well actually all the time, your wax gets old. And you might want to take it off and put on a whole fresh bunch. You'll see it going dark and a it'll be that it won't stick no matter what happens. So this is how this works. It literally just peels the wax off for you. It's quite efficient at it. You get that much wax off in a few seconds. So it leaves you with a clean board there. So that's this side of the comb here, okay? And this side is for simply scratching it up. If you're ever gonna put your board on eBay or in a surf shop to sell, you probably want to wax it off, use a little bit of alcohol, clean it down, make it look nice and shiny, and then let the new person that buys it wax the board themselves, okay? So just top up, and the honest answer, how much wax? Enough that your hand or your feet stick to the board. Sounds obvious, but that's the answer. If you're using a mini mal, draw a line from here, just where your chest to be on the board, and wax the whole way back. If you've progressed onto a short board like this, Simply just wax where you put your two feet. Okay.